Hey everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In today's video, I overview and show some tips for the SE44C Blaster Pistol. Now this was recorded during a live stream, so it won't be perfect. I'll go off a little bit uh, here and there, but overall, I think I get my point across. Also, in the background, I do end up getting some good streaks while I'm talking about the blaster. In the description, I'll have timestamps so that you can find your way through this video easier, but I'd suggest you watch the whole thing so you can get the most out of this video. If you're interested in anything Fortnite, make sure to subscribe to my Fortnite channel. I'll be posting Fortnite related content there very soon. I'll leave you guys with this live commentary guide, and I'll see you at the end of the video. I can honestly, okay, now let me start this video. <laughs> Welcome everybody, uh, so today we are going to be overviewing and I'll be showing you a couple of tips and tricks for the final officer blast you can unlock oh boy he just threw an impact grenade at the trip mine for the final officer blast you can unlock in battle for two for the officer class the se 44 c it's a first order officer blaster it's got like medium cooling power uh, low to medium damage per shot and it's got not so good range but we can change that same thing with the recoil. So the recoil and the range kind of go side and side. We'll be talking today about all of its different modifications you can equip for it, all the pros and cons about the weapons, and different strategies and advanced tips for newcomers. <laughs> you guys are making fun of me. By the way, this is a stream, so I'm still improving on some stuff from last time, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section. Oh boy, let's see if we can get this guy. From time to time, I'll just go into in-game commentary like I'm doing right now, because I can't talk and... Okay, give me one second. But the SC-44C, in my opinion, is one of the best blasters overall in Battlefront 2. It's just a really, really nice blaster. Actually, I'm doing pretty nice right in a second. But this blaster mostly drives in close quarter combat. You can take it if you know how to use it well enough at distances. So first thing is first, we're going to go over its three modifications that you can unlock. I'll have how many kills you need to, or how many enemies you need to defeat to, how many enemies you need to defeat to get each modification. But the first modification is the improved cooling mod. Now, I've said this in other videos and guides, like, some mods are essential. This is one of those mods. When you first get the SE44C, uh, it's it's not good cooling device. So this is definitely a mod you're gonna want to get. Ah, oh, that was a good play. Good play. Uh, the first mod is the improved cooling mod, and what it does, it lets you shoot more. Because once, if you try when you first get this blaster, you're gonna notice it's not very good. So once. Once you get this, it becomes a lot, a lot better. The second mod you can unlock is the night vision mod, which gives you a night vision scope on your blaster, which I currently don't have active because I have a card that's better than it. That's the third mod. But the night vision mod pretty much allows you to see in the night. It glows up enemies in bright blue. It's, it's really good. And then the third mod you can unlock is the rapid fire mod. Now this is the one of the greatest modifications for any blaster in Battlefront 2. Uh, you'll notice an immediate difference the second you add it on. It takes it from... Oh boy. That's a Yoda. Oh, that guy just rolled off the cliff. I'm gonna die because this Wookie. Please forget about me. Alright. We barely have this objective. We got four guys left, so give me a second. Alright, it said we won, and it said fall back at the same time. Okay. So, the rapid fire is a make or break, as Hisham K says in the chat right now. You need this. Once you get it, you're never going back. You cannot take off this modification. It's just it's perfect. That's what makes the blaster this blaster. It's great. So, what I personally like to use is the improved cooling along with 
through rapid fire mod. It just makes the blaster shoot faster. It's so much better. But I don't think you're gonna want to use the uh, rapid fire mod without the improved cooling because then it'll overheat way too fast. But that's just a suggestion. You could test it out. You gotta see what you like best for yourself. <clears throat> Alright, now we're gonna switch on to the other team so we can continue this guide. Uh, let me just. Let me just read my thing here. So, out of all the other blasters that you can unlock for the officer class, you have the Blurg, which is a burst, which is very good, by the way. You have the S5, which is a sniper pistol, which is also very good, but it fires like one shot every... It, it's got a slow fire rate, let's just say that. So... Oh, that's funny. Uh, this is one of the few blasters that you could just spray. It's... Like, in my opinion, it's like taking your favorite heavy blaster, shoving it into a pistol, and this is the SC-44C. Like, if you have to summarize the blaster in about two and a half seconds, that's how you tell your friend. Yeah, it's a heavy blaster instead of a pistol. <laughs> so, if you like power, this is one of the weapons you're going to use for power. The SC-44C and Blurg, in my opinion, tie for power, like, for how fast it kills enemies, because they're both very excellent blasters. So, we got, out of all the different, uh, compared to the Blurg and the SC-S5, you can use them at longer range, but this blaster, out of all the other ones, you're going to want to keep to more of a closer range combat because of its recoil. Not really because of its damage drop off, it's really because of its recoil. I'll show you here, the second I spawn in, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot a bit, you're going to see the recoil, it's not good for long range. Look, it's just, it just goes everywhere, you're going to see. The recoil along with the spread, the spread can be manageable, I'll show you how to do that later in this video. Yeah, pretty much VTech. Sometimes the night vision scope doesn't work, I'll be honest. So look, if I just stand here, it, you're not going to hit anybody. So, it, it is quite inaccurate. And also, you can see how high the, the blaster goes. I upped it a little bit myself there, but you can see the point. This is without me moving it. See how high it goes? Alright, let us let me just push it here. Uh, why did I do that? I should I pressed the wrong button, that's why. <laughs> so yeah, out of all the blasters, this is gonna be one that you're gonna wanna stick to closer quarters. But if you do end up in those long range situations where you have to you wanna try to make a difference and you're out there and you're like, ah, I think I can hit them, then oh, here's a couple of tips that one, one of the viewers, uh, old Java and I put together, it's one thing that I've noticed, oh boy, that greatly improves this blaster. Oh boy, I'm dead. I'm still dead. Uh, he's right here. Give me a second. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. That's an enemy. Where's the officer? One thing. Oh boy. One second, there's a lot of guys here, but I guess it goes with the power part of this blaster. <laughs> it really does. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, as I said before, power blaster. You want pow- Oh my gosh. Give me a second before I start talking about this blaster again. I just eliminated a lot of guys. Oh, looks like they're going to start running across the bridge here. Another free kill. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is probably the best I've ever done during a, a video. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many guys. I mean, that was just a really sweet streak, in my opinion. Alright, so as I was saying, long range, not the best. But, if you crouch, and you can manage your aim, it becomes... You can still have, you'll still have to deal with the recoil, but it's a lot less, if you didn't notice. You see, it's like... 
it's a lot slower between see for example if you stand up see how fast it goes up here if you crouch it, go, it takes a lot longer to get to that max point of height of how high it's going to shoot upwards so that's a little bit that's a little tip there that not a lot of people know because the thing is compared to the first game if you oh boy if you in the first game no matter what you did didn't affect how your blaster shot but in this game if you crouch it's gonna make your recoil less it's gonna make your blaster a little bit more accurate it's just wow oh my gosh oh my gosh um so like I was saying <laughs> the more you keep uh, the stiller you stay it's gonna affect how your blaster shoots. You're running around like this, it's not gonna keep your blaster accurate whatsoever. But if you crouch and hit your cooling flushes, uh, <laughs> see, it's a lot more accurate. So you can, if you think you can hit them, I'd say go for the shot. If they're at a distance, why not? Just try it out. <laughs> One other thing that, uh, this is, oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna push this. Um. Uh, Right, there's one guy here. Right, oh, there's a turret here. That's what's messing me up. Uh, one tip that old Java dropped in the chat right before I did this video was since the April patch, or not April patch, just before April, the patch 1.2, they have nerfed the SC44C so that it can't, it doesn't have as much cooling power. So you could just spray this thing forever before. But now, uh,. But now, it's not as much. So, one thing that one thing that you can do to counter that, because like I said, it's like a heavy blaster. Spray. The more you spray, the more shots you hit. It's just, it's just good. It's got a lot of power. But the more you shoot it off, and the more hits you get, the better chance you're gonna kill the enemy. Is oh boy, is by using the super cooling mechanic. Which, a lot of blasters, I mean, of course they use them well, but this one is exceptional. So look, look right here, when you shoot it off, boom, you overheated your blaster. When you cool it, super cool, with the golden, and exactly, I think that speaks for itself pretty much right there. It's... You can get a lot of guys with that. You've been seeing the gameplay. It's got powers behind the blaster. Now take that power plus the super cooling. You can wipe out squads upon squads upon squads with this thing if you know how to use it correctly. One thing, one thing that I've noticed, like you have to have a good star card hand to match up with it to match up with your playstyle. I'm extremely aggressive, so that's why I run the flash grenade to blind them. I mean, you can't really change it, but. <laughs> That's why I have the flash grenade, and then I use disruption so that when I get in these ridiculous situations, I can just disruption them so they can't shoot me. I mean, some people will get annoyed, but you know what are they gonna do about it? <laughs> they could in turn once they see me overheat it, then just go cool and flush it. So they could super cool it against me. See, this counteracting there's oh boy, there's a guy up here. There's a jump trooper. What is it? There's. You can counter pretty much anything that somebody throws your way in this game. That's the great thing about it. I'm gonna head over here to the enemy spawn. So look, I'm about to see. For example, my aggressive playstyle. If I would have had, wow, how did that guy shoot me while I disruptioned him? See, that's sometimes it doesn't always work. But there's your uh, showcase right there. So yeah, overall, this blaster is one of my favorites. I, in the entire game, it's like a heavy blaster all in one. I use this one and the Borg the most for the officer class. It's most of the time, if you're getting killed by an officer a ton, they're probably running this blaster or they're really, really good with the Borg, which is also another option. By the way, guys, you can check out my other guides on this channel. I have guides for almost every other, every single other blaster in the game. I'll be working on uh, more guides just like this. So if you want to check them out, make sure to check out my channel. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video or learned something new. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more Battlefront 2 content. 
I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you on the battlefront.